I've got here a little toy that was sent me from America. They've discovered there some uh, a new kind of steel. Cobalt steel, which holds its magnetism very strongly. So much so that if I have one magnet in this piece of wood and another one above it, one will float on the other. That bit of steel is floating in empty space, in vacuum. The air has nothing to do with it. It's resting on a cushion of vacuums. Well, that shows that empty space can support things. We call it magnetism. Well, that's a mere name. But uh, there are many other things that we call by names. When we have weight, ordinary things dropping, that is pulled down by empty space again. We got used to that, but we don't really understand it. Well, now, I'm going to show that there's no, no mystery in this thing. At least everything is mysterious, but no more mystery than there is in most things. Why, you've got two pieces of steel here where you can see them. Now, if I bring one up to the other, you see it runs away. These two things don't like each other. They chase each other. Now then, I bring that nearer to it. And away it goes. That's called magnetic repulsion. I put them close together, they spring apart, you see, like that. Unless I reverse them, and then they like each other very much. Well, that's the kind of thing that goes on in magnetism. And uh, I see certain analogies with what goes on in life. And I can't help thinking that if we understood all that happens in the relation between ether and matter, matter that is to say between space and matter, we might begin to understand something more of what life and mind really are. At any rate, that is the subject matter for the science of the and uncertain and problematical, but on which, of which there is a great deal of evidence. That evidence has to be criticized, but if the result is that personalities continue to exist, then they must have a physical vehicle for that existence, and that vehicle, I believe, will be found to be the mm, substance, the entity, you can't call it uh, an entity, yes, which fills space and which is the far more important thing than any form of matter, which is a trivial thing in comparison. I appear on this screen in our first talkie editorial to remind you that our programs are changed on Mondays of every week. We are also supplementing the program throughout the week with news pictures of particular interest as they become available. While I am here, I must take this opportunity of thanking you, our patrons, for the amazing support which has made this news theater an immediate success. We are encouraged to believe that your interest in this new form of entertainment will become permanent. And in this belief, we are making ambitious plans for the future. Let me no longer withhold your attention from the picture following, but bow my acknowledgments and vanish.